on June 6, 1944, the world bore witness to a watershed moment of unparalleled historical significance, the monumental and audacious military operation codenamed D-Day. This singular event marked the pinnacle of human courage and determination, where the threads of destiny converged to alter the trajectory of World War II. As dawn broke on that hallowed morning, an intricate tapestry of meticulous planning, unwavering resolve, and profound sacrifice was woven into the fabric of history. Envision the scene as the first light of June 6, 1944, illuminated the sky, a canvas painted in hues of rose and gold, casting an ethereal glow over the tumultuous waters of the English Channel. The world collectively held its breath, for this was the culmination of intricate preparations, countless hours of training, and the embodiment of unwavering valor. The Allied forces, an embodiment of unity amidst diversity, embarked on a mission that would come to epitomize human courage and determination in the face of adversity. In the early hours before dawn, the landing craft sliced through the restless waters, their powerful engines humming in harmony with the palpable anticipation that gripped the soldiers aboard. Private Michael Carter, his grip on the cold metal railing a testament to his fortitude, stood among them, representing the embodiment of both fear and unyielding resolve. The rhythmic cadence of the boat's engines seemed to mirror the rapid tempo of his heart, a rhythmic pulse echoing the monumental nature of the task at hand. With the sun's gradual ascent, the English Channel transformed into a thoroughfare of purpose and conviction. A vast armada of ships, each a vessel of hope, charted a course toward the Normandy coast. Overhead, the sky was a canvas painted with the crisscrossing trails of planes, engines roaring with a blend of urgency and optimism. Paratroopers descended gracefully from the heavens, their descent akin to whispered prayers of hope behind enemy lines. Amidst the salt dinged air, a palpable blend of apprehension and determination wafted, creating a heady mix that encapsulated the moment's gravity. The landing crafts rocked gently with the ebb and flow of the waves, soldiers clutching their helmets as they navigated the treacherous journey to the shore. For Private Michael Carter, the voyage was a turbulent symphony of memories from home, fleeting images of loved ones, and the harsh reality of the missions in Normandy. As the first light of dawn pierced the horizon, the beaches of Normandy emerged from the shroud of mist, a stage set for impending valor and heroism. Each beach, bearing names like Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword, carried its own significance, destined to be forever intertwined with tales of unwavering bravery that would soon unfold upon their shores. With the sunrise came a crescendo of tension aboard the landing crafts. Faces etched with a potent blend of anxiety and determination painted a mosaic of human emotion. A diverse tapestry of individuals, united by their shared commitment to a greater cause, held within them the hopes and dreams of nations. Close your eyes and conjure a panorama of those aboard the landing crafts, soldiers, sailors, airmen, each a distinct note in a symphony of fear and unyielding resolve. The briny air clung to their uniforms, serving as a poignant reminder of the magnitude of the moment. Nervous whispers and sporadic laughter intermingled, creating a delicate harmony that sought to temper the overwhelming tension that enveloped them. Then, as the landing ramps descended with a mechanical groan, reality emerged in a tempest of noise and chaos. The world outside erupted into a symphony of sound, as the thunderous boom of artillery and the staccato rhythm of machine gun fire mingled with the anguished cries of wounded comrades. The water, waist deep, became both a barrier and a lifeline, soldiers pushing forward under the weight of their equipment while waves crashed against them with a relentless determination. As the ramp touched the sand with a resounding clang, Michael's world narrowed to a point of razor-sharp focus. The cacophony of war engulfed him, the sharp cracks of gunfire, the concussive impact of exploding shells, the shouted commands and the haunting cries of pain. The water's icy embrace sent shivers down his spine as he waded through its shallows, every step forward a conscious act of defiance against the forces of the sea. The beach materialized as a tableau of chaos and courage. Men shouted to be heard above the din, some darting for cover, others surging forward with a blend of bravery and audacity. Michael's heart raced as he witnessed tracer rounds cutting luminous paths through the air, vivid red streaks against the grim backdrop of the sky. Bullets whizzed past, sending plumes of sand into the air, a macabre dance of life and death. The relief was palpable as his boots finally found solid purchase on the blood-soaked sand beneath. With training and instinct as his guide, Michael sought refuge behind a steel barrier, breath ragged in his chest. The earth-shaking explosions of artillery shells filled his ears, their shock waves rattling his very bones. Amid the pandemonium, comrades moved like specters, some seeking shelter, 
others advancing with a relentless determination bordering on recklessness. Utah Beach witnessed the swift and efficient establishment of an American beachhead, a testament to strategy and execution. But Omaha Beach painted a drastically different portrait, an inferno of German gunfire transforming the shoreline into a deadly gauntlet. Envisioned the landing crafts plunging into the water, only to be met with a furious barrage of enemy fire that turned the beach into a cauldron of death. Men, young and old, surged forward through the storm of bullets, their resolve unshaken as they pressed forward, their eyes fixed on the distant shore that promised freedom. Some sought refuge behind the scant cover afforded by obstacles, while others charged forward, driven by an unquenchable thirst for liberation. These beaches became the crucible for countless stories of courage and determination. Picture Brigadier General Norman Cota standing tall amidst the tempest on Omaha Beach, rallying his comrades with words that cut through the clamor of gunfire, emboldening weary hearts. Visualize Navy Cox and John Curry, a bastion of calm amidst the chaos, guiding landing crafts to safety with a steady hand and extending a lifeline to his fellow soldiers. The hours wore on, each one a testament to the ebb and flow of battle. Despite the monumental challenges, the Allies established their beachheads and gradually gained traction inland. Amidst the debris of war-torn villages, small victories were carved out, and the valiant resistance fighters emerged from the shadows, offering invaluable local knowledge and a determination that matched the Allied forces. For Michael, time became a mere construct, his consciousness consumed by the immediacy of his mission. His rifle, an extension of his will, felt weighty yet purposeful in his grip as he huddled behind cover, biding his time for the right moment. With a steadying breath, he leaned out, his fingers dancing on the trigger, releasing short bursts of controlled fire. The rhythmic crackling of his rifle blended with the symphony of chaos, and with every well-aimed shot, another piece of the puzzle fell into place. One German soldier stumbled from a bunker, his form silhouetted against a cloud of dust and debris. In a heartbeat, a fellow soldier's hand clamped onto Michael's shoulder, a wordless understanding passing between them in that fleeting touch. With a shared nod, they surged forward together, an unspoken pact to face whatever lay ahead as a united front. Side by side, they navigated the obstacles, a testament to the power of brotherhood amidst the relentless barrage of enemy fire. Bunker after bunker, obstacle after obstacle, they pressed onward, a testament to the unyielding spirit of humanity. The beach that once seemed insurmountable now bore the indelible mark of those who refused to bow to adversity. Michael's heart, once a galloping stallion, now pounded with the steady rhythm of a soldier undeterred, his very existence a proclamation of courage against insurmountable odds. And then, as the smoke and clamor began to dissipate, as the gunfire gradually receded like a retreating tide, Michael stood amidst the wreckage and chaos. The beach, once an alien and foreboding expanse, now bore the footprints of those who had stormed its shores with unwavering purpose. Heaving a breath and surveying the landscape, he knew he was bearing witness to a moment that would forever be etched into his memory, a reminder of the incalculable price of freedom and the boundless might of the human spirit. Yet, this victory came not without its sacrifices. The very beaches that had borne witness to the storming of Normandy now held a solemn tableau of white crosses and stars of David, a poignant tribute to the fallen heroes who had paid the ultimate price for liberty. Each marker stood as a sentinel, a sentinel for the generations to come, a somber reminder that the cost of freedom is often measured in lives. D-Day, however, was not confined to strategies and tactics, it was an opera of humanity's finest qualities. It was about the sweat, the blood, and the tears that were shed upon those shores. It was about the bonds forged amidst the chaos, the shared glances laden with meaning, the encouraging taps on the back that communicated solidarity amidst the tumult. So, as the years roll on and the pages of history turn, let us not merely remember D-Day for its grand scale. Let us also honor the personal stories, the young men who left their homes, the families who clung to hope, the communities forever changed by the sacrifices made. Let us remember the dawn that heralded a day of unparalleled bravery, the waves that bore witness to the ebb and flow of history, and the hearts that beat in unison on those hallowed shores. In the wake of the initial beach landings, the Allies faced the monumental challenge of breaking free from their Normandy beachheads and forging ahead into the heart of France. This phase, often referred to as the Battle of Normandy or the Battle of the Hedgerows, was characterized by the tenacious clash between the Allies and the well-entrenched German defenses. Through ingenious tactics, relentless combat, and an unyielding stream of reinforcements, the Allies managed to rupture these defensive lines, igniting the spark of their advancing momentum. 
Then came August 1944, a month that etched itself into history with the liberation of Paris. In a feat of military prowess, General George S. Patton's 3rd Army and the Resolute French 2nd Armored Division spearheaded the liberation of the City of Light. The significance of this victory extended far beyond military triumph, it was a moment of redemption, a reclamation of a city spirit that had been held captive under the shadow of Nazi oppression. The streets of Paris erupted in euphoric celebration, a collective sigh of relief and the jubilant cries of a people finally freed from the shackles of tyranny. With the fires of Paris's liberation still ablaze, the Allies remained undeterred in their quest for victory. Pushing through Western Europe, they liberated towns and cities in an intricate dance of strategy and combat. Faced with retreating German units, they fought fiercely, relentlessly, as they pressed forward in their pursuit of freedom. Even the desperate German offensive known as the Battle of the Bulge, aimed at halting the Allied march, was quelled, reaffirming the waning strength of the German war machine. As the final chapters of the European theater unfolded, the Allies pressed their advantage, forging a relentless path eastward. In a two-pronged pincer movement, they encircled Berlin, a strategic chokehold that marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. By April 1945, Soviet forces had enveloped the German capital from the east, while the Allies crossed the formidable Rhine River and established their presence on the Western Front. In the Ruhr pocket, German forces were cornered, their supply lines severed, and their retreat thwarted, a culmination of strategic brilliance and unwavering determination. As the vice tightened around Nazi Germany, the full extent of the Holocaust was laid bare to the world. The Allies uncovered the chilling horrors of concentration camps, revealing a level of inhumanity that defied comprehension. The discovery of these ghastly sites underscored the urgency of the Allied mission, a mission not only to secure victory but to put an end to a regime that had inflicted immeasurable suffering. Finally, on May 7, 1945, the German military representatives affixed their signatures to an unconditional surrender document in Reims, France. The echoes of their signatures reverberated across the world, heralding the dawn of victory in Europe, Bay, Day. The subsequent day, May 8, 1945, dawned with an effusion of jubilation, a collective exhalation of relief, and a chorus of celebration that echoed throughout the Allied nations. The war's toll on humanity had been staggering, but at last, the battle was over, and the hope for a brighter future burned ever brighter. The legacy of D-Day continues to resound with the vibrancy of its narratives, the accounts of bravery, camaraderie, and unyielding spirit. These stories are not merely relics of the past, they are the torchbearers of a shared human experience, an ode to the strength of the human spirit that refuses to bow before adversity. In remembering D-Day, let us not only acknowledge the grandeur of its operation, but also honor the personal stories of courage, the young men who left behind their homes, the families who clung to the fragments of news, and the communities forever changed by the sacrifices of their sons and daughters. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. We're excited to keep exploring with you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas for future videos, so drop them in the comments below.